Welcome to Info and Fun Channel. Today we are going to discuss about the how to e-file, how to fill the income tax and online. Okay, before going to the video, please subscribe the channel. Okay, and share the this information to your friends and other members. Number in the video kula poor to kumunadi. Number English le in the video va proceed pannanga. Kila subscribe button press pannanga. Adu matter lama share pannanga. Nareya information. So ungulke in the video lande ungulke kadekyo. So in the channel la nareya useful information la ungulke poor pora. Na in the channel la ba in the video ba na English le kanni pannla. Yena yella arkme understand la arkun solte. Wanga video kula pochlam. Okay. First, enter into the incometax.government.in website. We have the dashboard. Lot of options are there. So, home, individual, half company, how to file the income tax returns. They have the separate videos to understand. So this explains that what is ITR one, ITR two, ITR three, and ITR four. We have different categories of ITRs. Individual salaried people should file in ITR one. So we are enter into the login page. So for login page, we have to enter our PAN ID. So I hide everything here. So this is individual one. So individual. Please enter your PAN ID and corresponding passwords. Please click that option and enter your password. The password, if you forget, you can give the forget password option and you will get the password in the mail. We have entered into the e-file website. So left side, our information will be there and last login and Previous login date will be there, and contact detail also we can update. Right side we have tax deposit. So far, how much amount we have deposited, how much amount is calculated. So everything will be in the bar chart. So this is new type of e-file window website. And second tab we have the recently filed income tax returns. So for which year, how much amount we paid. So everything will be in the bar chart. So this is newly added. Pending actions. If you have any filed, you can return. That will be in the pending actions. Grievance. Everything is open. So after filing, you have to verify. That and all will be coming under the pending actions. So we are going to file now 2020-21. The income tax returns. We need to select that year. The current year we need to choose. Then we need to mention that online. Submit the files in the online. Continue. If you already saved the drafts, that will be in the saved items. If you want to open the fresh tax return, you click the start new filing. So we can save the saved new filings. Then individual half and others. So we are salary people. We have to select individual. Then we need to select which kind of ITR. So we have several categories. In that ITR one is regarding to the salaried people. So individuals proceed with the ITR. Then income tax return. We have the following three steps: validate our returns, break up, and confirm our return summary, and verify our true returns. Three steps to be completed. First step will have the five steps. Let's get started. So we have the question answer here. We need to mention the table, the source come more basic from the external. So that is the option to be selected. Other options is extended there. If you your income is more than one crore or you have the income from the other source properties, we need to select that one. So for salaried peoples, for employee, you need to select the first two option alone. Continue. It's okay. Now we need to validate our pre-filled return. So 
the government will fill prefill everything based on the form 16 the validated return is there this have the five steps personal information gross total income total deduction tax paid and total tax liability so right side we have the that five steps should be ticked after getting tick we can submit the form first personal information we need to confirm the i completely hide everything and at the end of the personal information we have the file options 131 1as and are you going to file for the 130 days it should be selected as no and we need to mention the bank account number so that should be selected for the refund so everything is saved as a from the pre filled data and confirm so the first personal information is selected second is gross total income that will be question for few things so exemption of the that needs to be selected no special allowance of the children education allowance and is there we can need to select yes but i don't have anything so i am selecting no so so here i am just selecting a yes for your convenience if you want to select as no we can select no so based on your option so this is hra rental allowance amount it needs to be selected amount at put be for one year that needs to be selected yes and the travel allowance if you submit for the lta leave travel allowance that can be submitted here that proof also needs to be submitted that's it so everything is selected and we need to give as a continue and here the gross total income should be matched with our form 16 here some value is coming is i changed the values it's not exact my value so if you have some value that value need to match with the form 16 and if you have any home loan if you are pay any for interest you can mention here this option is self occupied we need to select then interest payable from the borrowed capital for example maximum amount 2 lakhs can be given i just gave us a number 2 lakhs then the gross total income will be minus from that so the interest payable from the home loan can be minused from that so the value of that we can get minus of the total income now we can confirm so we are completing the second steps now third step for the tax deduction so we can proceed for the third section so tax deduction is based on the gross total income the government reduce the amount here we have some questions so whether you donation anything paid so you can mention yes and we have the subsequent questions click yes or no and we need to submit the atc atd informations here atc atc 150000 amount can be included any fixed deposit or insurance other kind of categories will become under atc so based on that we need to select yes or no so whatever thing you are selecting mostly it's cover under 150000 amount yes total deductions can be minus to 150000 is confirmed so third step also is completed the tax deduction is the by the government is it's come 
giving the information for ATC and ATD. And tax paid is employer should pay the sum amount in the form 16. So this is for example of final last year form 16. So just I am giving clarity on that. So they will pay some amount. That amount needs to be there. You have to confirm it to form 16. So if you see this, the total tax paid amount is this amount should be tally with the amount of tax given by calculated by the government. So all are getting the computation of the tax. So if you see the tax value and that total payable interest should be zero. In that case, the employer paid amount and the Form 16 amount should be same. So that the total to payable tax or total refundable tax should be zero. If employer paid more money as per the calculation of tax, we will get the refund from the government. So need to confirm. Confirm. So all the five steps are completed. So we need to proceed. So now I am eligible for refund of zero because my employer amount payment and my tax paid amount are same. Refund amount also zero. So preview and submit. I have some personal details, our name and place and self and some pan id so we need to confirm that alone and proceed with the submission so before submission we have preview to submit submit the return so we can save the data before submit and we can submit the data there proceed to validation if any errors are coming the validation will be failed we need to correct that error now validation gets success Proceed for the verification. After validation, we have the third step is verification. We need to e-verify them. So we can e-verify easily using other OTP. E-verify now. We can click on the option continue. We have the several options there. I want to verify using OTP mobile number. If we have any other number linked with the mobile number, you can get the OTP form that or else we can continue with we can verify this e-verification using internet banking also but this OTP will have the direct number the other OTP number to our mobile so after getting the OTP number we need to enter that value and that will be e-verified first of all we need to file and validation and e-verification these three steps are income tax e-filing so we can submit number of times to the income tax but verification can be done number of times if any mistake is done we can resubmit the form so the final submission form only taken by the government for example, I did some mistake and I am doing other, again I am filing. So the government will take the finally submitted form only. Validate, I confirm the my validation. Yeah, it's fine. I am getting the form confirmation and message and mail from the government. So if you have like this information, you can sub you can subscribe the my channel you can get lot of good information such like and you will get the more tamil videos and information fun also in my channel so kindly share this video to your friends and who are all not submitting and that this will be the future reference for you for submitting the e filing so thanks for watching your full video Bye bye, kindly subscribe and support.